good morning all and have a nice day on behalf of sri shau shikshan prasarak seva mandals okay on behalf of sri shau shikshan prasarak seva mandals sri vijayshin yadav college petwadga and my own behalf i welcome respected chief guest professor prashant kalori who is labrain bogoti mahavidyalay kuruli and i also welcome all the participants department of library of our college has organized this webinar on how to make e resource available and how to access them i am quite sure the lecture of chief guest will update your knowledge now i would like to call labrain or college professor rr sawan to come forward and give preface and introduce the chief guest sawan sir please continue okay thank you sir all the dignitaries faculty students and participants heartily welcome to national level webinar on access of online e resources in teaching and learning good morning one and all have a fantastic day on the behalf of department of library science sri vijay singh yadav college and sri shahu shikshan pratarak seva mandal petwadga this kolapur i heartily welcome respected chief guest professor prashant kalori all dignitaries and participants in this pandemic situation students and faculty are doing online teaching and learning to improve online quality of teaching and learning all should know how to access and make available on e line online e resources that is journals reference books videos images pdf files research articles etc this is our aim to organize this webinar respected renowned chief guest professor prashant kalori sir will clarify all these contents the patrons of sanstha honorable gulab rao khol sahib chairman sri shahu shikshan sarak seva mandal petwadga ex commissioner of police Sir. pune honorable vijaya devi yadav ai sahib vice chairman sri shahu shikshan sarak seva mandal petwadga honorable sau vidyatai pol tai sahib secretary sri shahu shikshan sarak seva mandal petwadga all these patrons have always inspired motivated and encouraged us to arrange this national webinar i am very much well thankful to them respected principal of our college dr vijaya sawan madam has given constant support to us and valuable guidelines to uh, arrange this webinar thanks a lot madam now briefly i will introduce today's chief guest today's chief guest is professor prashant kalori librarian of bhogavati mahavidyalay kurukali sir has completed masters degree in the subject of library science in 2005 and he has also qualified net and set in 2006 presently he is doing phd from shivaji university kolapur sir has delivered 45 lectures in various seminars workshops conferences in state national and international level he has delivered lecture as a resource person in refresher course organized by sant gadge baba university amravati and also move short term course and orientation course sir has also guided net and set exam preparation students 
and delivered more than 150 lectures he has published so many research papers in national and international journals his interested area of library automation content management system library blogs digital library and institutional repository website development etc i have introduced chief guest very shortly we will come to know about this ang personality his knowledge through his lecture once more i welcome all of you now i hand over the charge to dv patil sir thank you well done professor r r chauhan sir thanks a lot now it is the time for which you are eagerly waiting before start of lecture of chief guest one thing i want to share our chief guest is from bhogoti mahavidyalay kurukli who is librarian there i would like to tell to chief guest that sir i have completed my bsc in mathematics from bhogoti college okay i am very happy to call today chief guest professor prashant kalloli to take charge of platform and deliver your lecture sir please prashant sir please uh, am i audible sir yes ah, yes sir yes yes sir. okay so thank you ठीक है और ऑन आहे तो हाँ ओके 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 गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल टू माय ऑल माय टीचिंग प्रोफेशनल्स एंड लाइब्रेरियंस इट्स अ ग्रेट डे टू टुडे हियर एंड इट्स माय ग्रेट प्लेजर टू डिलीवर अ लेक्चर ऑन दिस नेशनल वेबिनार ऑर्गेनाइज्ड बाय विजय सिंह यादव कॉलेज पेटवड़े गांव Uh, this college in my district so it's my great pleasure to hear and i first of all i congratulate uh, to all the uh, planners management of this uh, national webinar this is a good initiative in this uh, pandemic of corona and uh, we all know that from march we are facing a not the facing a problem but uh, there is a challenge of online learning this is a, a new era of teaching teaching learning and we are facing a new environment of teaching and learning and in this teaching a uh, new environment uh, we are struggling we are doing better things to creating content delivering content publishing content to teach uh, to students actually as a teacher we are using this technology from last 6 months maybe some teachers are uh, doing all this works from last maybe for four or five years but from last 6 years last 6 months we are so much aware about the e content and e resources because the bridge between the user and teacher and uh, in the student is becoming the it environment so every student have a mobile so he, so uh, every teacher have a mobile every, uh, every teacher have a technology to creating content and publishing and communicating with the user and now there is a big thing about uh, this uh, teaching learning in the it environment that mobile has a playing a vital role because it is a disseminating tool it is become a disseminating tool between student and lecturer so begin a i think this is a very great this is a great challenge to us to hands on on the it we how to implement because uh, i think 10 years before the uh, shivaji university has issued a circular or publisher circular circular about the starting the lmss or uh, online classes they have issued a circular that uh, every college must have started the online classes so it's a challenge and also it's a opportunity too uh, 
all this teaching learning in the IT, this learning man in, in this learning management environment is depend on the e-resources. What are the e-resources we have? Which e-resources we can use? This is the main thing. And my today's lecture is also based on this theme. So I think this is a great chance and the need of time of this topic and the, the, the topics totally mean to the e-resources. So I'm, I'm starting my presentation. I'm just presenting my presentation. Okay, uh, can you see my PPT, sir? Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, today's uh, mainly my topic is only online resources in teaching learning. As a teacher, which resources I have, which resources I can use in the my teaching learning process. This is the theme of this lecture, and uh, it's my great pleasure to share my knowledge whatever on the e-resources as a librarian as a teacher as a content creator it may be helpful for you teachers librarians and students too okay myself kaloli ps librarian bhogauti mahavidyalay i am starting the access of online e-resources in teaching and learning okay uh, one thing is we have to know that in the development of human revelation the, from the stone age to this modern age of humankind progress the data information knowledge is the key for their development how we can say this if our human cannot store the data information and disseminate the knowledge to next generation we cannot develop like such a modern human being so data information knowledge is the key to develop the human being so nowadays also whenever we're going to do anything we are taking the help of data information and knowledge so without data information knowledge we cannot move we cannot develop huh? this is the core aspect of our core aspect of our life so all things are depend on the these three data information knowledge these are the real and we are actually hungry for the data information and knowledge from morning to night we are taking the help of the data just when we, we when we wake up in the morning we just see the watch to see the what timing is it is it uh, this activity says that we are taking we are uh, getting the information from our it tool so this is the one type of data and we are going to plan our day through this time so in the morning we taking the data with the uh, we're giving the information we design the knowledge so we are developing so in our teaching learning your research and development activity these things are very important actually there is a new game changer in uh, in our life maybe uh, as a teacher in our education field that is the information technology uh, the communication technology, web technology, computer technology, publishing technology, social media technology, and mobile technology. These are the aspects of information technology. All these are the core parts of information technology. We cannot be separated these technology as a separate technology. These are the bounded and all the, as the information technology. So this is the game changer because the last uh, before last ten years we are not so aware with the information technology tools we are not only we are using this information technology as a, uh, not in the education in the life aspects we are using this technology maybe it's, uh, communication maybe with entertainment or maybe in publishing technology but from last four or five years this education has fully influenced by the information technology so this is a new game changer so as a teacher we have to serious with this information technology aspects which is coming as a boom in the education field as a teacher as a student and as a librarian too in our when we are uh, taking the education you know in our time maybe 10 years back 
there are the traditional resources of teaching and learning what are these these are books newspaper reference sources journals magazines maybe tv or tv or radio maybe a cd dvd and or maybe speeches on uh, these are the traditional resources which are we are using in our teaching learning process but the era is change now this is era is called as online era so resources are changed all these resources traditional resources are converted in the print print to electronic format and we have a uh, before uh, in uh, 10 years back we have not that technology that we cannot take the help of the technology to convert this resources to electronic but now we have a technology our students have a technology to access all these materials so traditional resources are not so behind but electronic format are coming as a boom in our education environment what are the e resources to today's e resources or it, uh, educational e resources and tools which is the we call the modern tools uh, as a student as a teacher we are using mobile apps e books online materials video streaming e journal databases online courses blogs social media various websites e newspaper in corona pandemic we are regularly reading the e newspapers this is the starting era that we are adapting such a technology in our daily routine uh, digital education materials are uh, so many years before the digital education material formation are coming in our education field uh, there are so many things are coming uh, before uh, 10 years back i just listen a cartoon video just we have to give the text and cartoon will be elaborate all the concepts means cartoon oriented but the cartoon will explain all the lecture to the students and teachers too this is a model this is going to upgrade it every moment or every day they are upgradation in the education field so this is the modern e resources and tools which are we are using in our teaching learning there are so many online resources for teachers these mainly are categorized into open education resources that is oer the content development tools there are so many just as a teacher we are creating content we are creating text video for uh, textual format textual education material video audios uh, to uh, creating such a content we are taking help with several e content development tools maybe you if, if you are using mobile there is uh, there is so many apps in the mobile that we are using to create or shoot the our video lectures after that we are editing may be publishing all that content on for the users so e content development tools one of the e resources available on the internet or the web publishing tools just this is the uh, the first tool for the education we are just uh, created websites blogs so, and there are so many content management systems which are available for teachers this publishing tools websites blogs are uh, can be mentioned here social media tools just we are using whatsapp and facebook this is a social media tools we are using these social media tools for these students for uh, delivering or publishing our lectures or communicating with your students so we are using these social media tools as a resources online resources learning management tools as i say the university has published a circular to start the online lectures this learning management tools are now they, now uh, maybe in futures in maybe 3 or 6 months come here this learning lmss are coming as a boom uh, whenever i saying the lmss this is learning management system we have just started we as a teacher we have started google classrooms but there are so many capability uh, limitations to with the google classroom Uh, the, that is that may be capable to one or two teachers maybe 50 or 100 students they can be capable so we have to think behind the imagination behind the technology we have to implement learning management systems in our colleges uh, which is helpful for all the teacher that that lms must be become as a core center for students where student can access all the college modules all teachers module all educational materials in one site so this lms will be helpful for us 
and this this is also an online resources because there are so many tools available on the net which can be helpful for teachers too huh? then communicative tools just yes, just we are now we are using google meet this is the communicative tool we can deliver the lecture to the students huh? there are uh, so many tools just we are the, uh, i think first of all we are using uh, that app uh, maybe there are several apps that we can use for taking the webinars taking the uh, lectures so this is also online resources for teacher there are also so many fields and so many resources as per uh, for the teacher there is a one uh, there is one category research support tools. there are so many research tools just uh, last night i am using grammarly for my research work this is the resources for me so your teacher can edit or the teacher, teacher can elaborate their uh, lectures to the students uh, very effectively using this research tools there are so many maybe research management uh, citation management maybe uh, research publication tools so many publication tools are available these type of categories of online resources are useful for teachers and now i'm uh, uh, these are the too much uh, categories here but now for this lecture i am going to focus on the open educational resources especially where we, uh, the sites the places where content is resides and we can use it very usefully so i am focusing on the open educational resources some of the e content management tools to publishing tools social media tools which can help for teacher too uh when uh, before going to e content or e resources this information searching is the key aspect if you know the effective ways of or tools or techniques of information searching you are no you are not facing any problem actually our our searching behavior is different we are just how we search the information we go to the google and type the keyword and getting the result actually this is a bad habit we don't know the searching techniques actually google has provided his their, their searching techniques how to search information it's a actually important thing and we how to as a teacher we how to learn as a student we how to learn the how uh, we how to learn how to search the information and effectively uh, information searching on the net uh, this is the uh, common things to us that we are using google as a searching tool we just visit the google and uh, input the anything which we are uh, we are searching and getting the result this is the behavior searching behavior to all but um, so, uh, some, somehow this is correct but it's not uh, totally correct this is a bad habit of searching to giving only a keyword to the uh, google and getting the information there is a actually meaning i have made, uh, if you are going to retrieve the data correctly then you have to give the correct information to search the google so there are so many techniques to information searching actually these are the search techniques uh, which provide google, uh, provided by google this is the operator and i think uh, as a teacher as a student we have to use these operators to search effectively what are these these are command just we have to just and or and there uh, double numbered comma slash star hash round side colon file type in text in title related uh, there is a various of commands we have to use suppose if uh, if you are user if you want a pdf file then what we are doing this time we are searching for the Shivaji University PDF file. This I am going to internet and say uh, typing Shivaji University PDF. Then there are numerous results are uh, coming. But if you give the file type, file type colon PDF in the next of the uh, whatever you are searching, only PDF results will be you can get. If you are if you are, if you are looking a PowerPoint presentation, just you have to give file type PPT. If you are finding any Excel file, then you have to just give the file type Excel or whatever, whatever the extension of file. Just type that file type, then you are getting only that type of file results. So this is the 
effective way of searching so whenever we are uh, we are thinking about the resources then we have to know the how to search the information so there are numerous ways where we can search the information so uh, in my suggestion to all this is my suggestion to all teachers just just not go to for simple search just go for with these techniques okay uh, talking about the google google is a uh, basic resources for us actually whenever we we are going to use internet we are just visit for our this is the first site whenever we are starting using the internet google uh, google.com or google google.in uh, this is the our primary source as we think that google is our strength google is our uh, information retrieval tool actually google has not only there is a only google search engine actually google has provided so many uh, services to us which we can help uh, we which can implement which can we use in our teaching learning uh, there is a google you know youtube google news google books google maps google translate and google scholar and nowadays we are using as a google classroom also so there are too many tools hello hello okay there are so many tools which we can use uh, these are the google products so we are taking one by one this is the google books where you can get the books this is the project of google millennium and there are store millions of books we can get the not only getting a book actually there is a search facility where we can input anything then google search the exact page exact information page uh, there are this is a very useful because the basic information the basic reference books are available here if you are searching any book first go to the google books don't search in the google search box search in the google book search facility so you can get your book to here actually copyright uh, exempted books are available here maybe you are a mathematics teacher your uh, basic reference book of mathematics will be available here so as a teacher as a student i recommend you to use this google books because it gives the exact page searching information facility to us so it's very useful actually for researchers also we can get the exact citation of books to in our research article we can embed this so it's a very useful another thing is the google translate actually there are so many google products but i am focusing on uh, little bit uh, maybe some of them google translate actually it translate english to marathi marathi to any language if there is any website in the chinese or japanese language and i want that information i can translate that language uh, into our local language so it is very useful tool us even now there is a facility as a teacher if you are not, uh, not aware with the typing we just speak with the google translate google translate will be translate that speech into text uh, this, this is a new technique of typing google translate is providing google translate translate is uh, also a facility of translating any english website into marathi or any english website into the chinese any english to one one language to any language google translate translate the websites so the the barrier between the information retrieving or communicating communicating is dissolved by this google translate so we can nowadays uh, all global content is on one click and the google translate is one of the most important uh, thing to uh, gap the bridge of this communication so we can use the google translate to type to translate all the online content into the local language google scholar as as a science teacher or as a uh, our college teacher as a college teacher we all know we all know this google scholar this is a purely research based information searching tool we can uh, create our own profile here with our research outputs and we can search 
the research uh, research trends in various ways. Google Classroom, I think every teacher is now creating our, uh, our own uh, Google Classroom with the subjects. Uh, there are some lacunas, but it's now for starting the work, Google Classroom is the best. So uh, I suggest all the teachers start the Google Classroom with their own subjects. So it's very, very useful for your users to communicate with you uh, for in this learning management environment. Actually, this is the, uh, I think the little bit teachers will aware this, this tool, Google Custom Search. Actually, this, you can build your own search engine with the Google Custom Search. If you want to search the information specific to specific websites, you, then you can create the, your own search engine with the help of this Google Custom Search. Google Alert, if you are a researcher, if you are a teacher, and studying a topic or uh, doing a research article or writing a research article on a specific topic and if you want to that google will deliver you the content regarding your uh, research article then you have to set the google alerts if once you go uh, just go to the google alerts.google.com and set the your alert keyword google will send you the daily information updated information on your topic it's a good RSS feed. It's a personalized service provided by Google. As a teacher, we can know the recent updates in our topics. So use this Google alert. Now this is the bigger thing. This is the bigger thing. Uh, Google suit for education. Actually, this is a free of cost service provided by Google to the educational institutions. Actually, as uh, just one month before, we have just uh, subscribed freely G Suite for education. Uh, they are providing unlimited space, unlimited user communication tools, uh, unlimited uh, uh, e-content tools through this G Suite for education. I'm requesting all your uh, teachers that please subscribe or please take the service of the G Suite. It's a free of cost. Just there are technical bridges or technical uh, but things are there, but you get the uh, G Suite account for education in five days. It's just you get the personalized account here. Just I'm using this Rashad Kaluri at Bhogauti College, uh, College or This is a Gmail account provided by G Suite. Uh, we are uh, creating a G Suite account for every teacher in our colleges. They are now using unlimited space, unlimited classes, unlimited space for Gmail, Google Drive, OneDrive and calendar uh, collaboration for their teaching learning. So it's a very fantastic tool and this is a free of cost for our colleges. Just try, just uh, take the Google G Suite account, any technical help, I'll be there. And the current trend and biggest thing in the learning management system is the Moodle. Just go to the uh, Moodle cloud, you can get your account just they are revised uh, one, one, one month before they are revised their guidelines for Moodle uh, old classes that actually that was to the old class old classes but Moodle is the best thing one of the best software worldwide used software is Moodle if your institution has subscribed or has implemented the Moodle for your learning management environment then it will be a great thing actually NAC also mentioned that every college has the how to implement it, the Moodle, not the Google Classroom. They are not uh, saying the uh, use the Google Classroom. They are saying the uh, Moodle because Moodle is a collaborative tool for students and teachers for learning management tool. Uh, in Kolapur, maybe uh, only our Bhogauti Mahavidyalaya and Kamla College has the LMS, this type of LMS or depend, uh, uh, develop on the Moodle. So, as a teacher, you have to use the Moodle courses. You have to create the Moodle courses and you have to learn how to create the courses and how to manage the courses on the Moodle. This is the big thing coming in this era. And uh, in the future, in future, we have to face this Moodle. So we cannot neglect this uh, the Moodle thing because one day this will be the correct key to teachers to reach these students.
So use the Moodle, learn the Moodle. Actually, there are numerous numbers of web resources available on the online. That uh, those are categorized in the open web, gated web, and invisible web. Whatever we are getting on the freely on the Google or any search engine, that is the open web. Just go to the web, Google and get the information. Whatever you are uh, 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 seeing on the results, seeing the results, those results are the open web. What are the gated web? Gated of the subscribed web. If you want to information, we have to subscribe that. Nowadays, Netflix. Uh, Netflix is there. Uh, so so many pub research publishers uh, portals are gated web. So we have to pay. We have to get the username, password, and then we get the information. There are the invisible web. Actually, information available on the net, but it is not be provided by that uh, source to you. Actually, uh, this is on the available on the internet. What are the, what type of that information? The databases. This is actually stored in the databases. Uh, if you are going to Shivaji University website, we get the mark sheets of the, uh, our uh, classes. But if one, if someone is going to search the mark sheet of particular student, it not will be displayed because it is uh, in the invisible way. It is in the databases. So it's uh, various types of resources here. Searching techniques will be easier here to search the gated way information and invisible way information. Now I am going to some initiatives in the OER that uh, we must, as a teacher we are much aware with this. This is the Shod Ganga and Shod Gangotri. Shod Gangotri is the repository of synaps uh, synapses. The PhD synapses are uh, put here by Infriminate UGC. So we can uh, see the synopsis of various PhD, uh, PhD, uh, PhD, uh, PhD scholars to avoid the duplication of research work. So in Shod Ganga 3, we can see the PhD synopsis. In Shod Ganga, I know that every teacher is going to, through this Shod Ganga. Here is the PhD thesis of every PhD scholar in the Indian India. So we can get here the PhD thesis of all the teachers in the India. And now I think the Shivaji University is the top top ten in top ten university to uploading the PhD thesis. So uh, I think every PhD scholar in the Shivaji University has their thesis on this Shod Ganga. Uh, just go to Shod Ganga, Shod Ganga dot and just there is a search tool. You can just search the name of the uh, guide or name of the researcher or name the title of the Topic you can get the information or you can browse the content as a topic wise. This is the tool, ready made tool. Here I am just uh, showing our results, some results. Just click. Uh, another show the Shindhu. Actually, Influent has merging the technologies or different resources in one place, and that is the now show the Shindhu. They are coming with the show the Shindhu. Now they are summarized all the content in one place. This is this initiative started. Now there are maybe 230 universities, more than 230 universities are collaborating their content in Shod Sindhu. So this will be a future resource station to serve the information. Here, here so many online magazines and databases available for us, for students. Actually, this is the free of cost. Those Subscribe the endless. It's come uh, come under the endless subscriber subscription. Here we can search the journals and databases. Okay, this is one of the example. And then uh, the endless, endless. Uh, we are subscribing as a library. As a librarian, we are subscribe the endless. Here we can get the full text journals. This may be so much useful for science teachers so English and uh, English. And maybe social science teachers. It's a, it's a, it is a very useful tool. It's a uh, full text journals, ebooks, databases available here. Actually, there is a subscription charges of five thousand nine hundred, and UGC uh, NAC also mandatory this thing to purchase. So every college is going to uh, subscribe these things. So, but as a teacher, we have to access all these things. 
and uh, NAC is make compulsory of the report of usages report of endless. They are analyzing how teachers are using this endless, and actually they are using this usages reports in NAC accreditation. So it's my request to all the teachers that please open your account and start the uh, uh, enlist in your research work because this is related to your institution accreditation because in accreditation process they are asking your usages report in enlist uh, and on this usages report they are analyzing that how you are going to do your research without enlist they are not assuming that you are not doing any research because so your use statistic report is a must and vital becomes today. So start using the endless. And nowadays, government government of India is coming with the last thing in digital environment, digital India project, and this is National Digital Library (NDL) is coming 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 a big thing. Uh, this is the Digital Library of India. NBN National Digital Library. We can we have numerous number of our types of information here: books, theses, audio lectures, articles, manuscript, video lectures, technical reports, manual. So many things are available here. Actually, there are so many uh, for students. There are question papers, books, video lectures, audio lectures, e-books are available for teachers. Also, these things are available for creating their content. If you are going to create a content or creating, just search for National Digital Library. You can get the right the video lecture, right video lecture of uh, our video uh, audio lectures of the uh, renowned teachers around the India. So this is a big thing. Uh, we have to go through this all this content as a teacher, National Digital Library. Uh, here, one more thing, as a library, as a college library. We have to subscribe this NDL membership. Uh, there is a, a facility of subscribing National Digital Library as an institution. So we have to take an initiative to uh, subscribe this National Digital Library. This is a free of cost service provided by NDL to the college libraries and college to uh, students and teachers. This is the search interface. So I am not going there. And EPG Partiala. Teachers, here is the core repository or core digital archive of our study material. This is the core archive or it is the gateway of postgraduate courses. This is the poorly, uh, uh, poorly depend on the poorly maintained for the class notes, maybe study material of particular subject. Here, all the subjects are listed, maybe 70 more than 77 subjects are listed here, and all the content is uh, uh, created with the UGC curriculum. So, go here and search your topic. I definitely say you can get your uh, study notes, study material here as per your uh, topic, as per your syllabus. They are numerous number of video lectures on particular topic so this is the most useful thing and uh, uh, UGC is comp uh, now compulsory to every dot, uh, university teachers now they are compulsory teacher to create the modules on EPG Parshala so just visit the EPG Parshala you get the so many content this uh, just see this uploaded courses subjects more than uh, 22,000 modules are text out video modules are available here and covering all the subjects in our educational domain. If you are a political science uh, teacher or student, you can get the all the uh, text or study material regarding our subjects. So all the subject study material, ready made study materials are here. Ready made video lectures, ready made uh, assessment tools are available here. So just go for the EPG part shara. Then. There are so many initial initiatives taken by the government of India with the MHRD and with the help of the influence. This e adhyan Nowadays, UGC is thinking or Influent is thinking on the publishing or delivering e-books on the national platform. And that is the e adhyan 
this is a, just started now there are no not so many books available actually maybe when i am searching this year here they are in initial stage they are provided 700 or 800 ebooks but in futures they are thinking about the providing textbooks ebooks through the national channel of this platform through this platform so in future ehn will be a key aspect you can get your ebooks your text ebooks UGC, UGC will be publicized these ebooks on the ehn platform so keep watch on this tool there is UGC MOOC course, you know, there is SWAM, there is NPTEL, so many platforms created by implemented IITs in the India, they are starting the MOOC course. So, but nowadays the SWAM coming as a big boom. Nowadays we as a, we all teachers subscribe the MOOC courses on the SWAM too. Okay. There are another thing, the e part here. Actually, whenever we, uh, we, we, whenever we focus on the teaching learning, we coined uh, term text textbooks these textbooks are available on the e part here now this this is the offline this is starting by the ugc nowadays and they are giving the offline access if your college is interested in the uh, implementing e part you have to approach the internet they will be installed and they will install a site for you uh, it may be cost something but in future it will be a free of cost service E part you they have a, a number of textbooks and we are you have to create your own e part site on your college website so it will be coming in next next few days so as a teachers we have the yeah, the government the education department or education policy makers are providing us books e textbooks videos MOOC courses so this is the vital e resources for us Another thing, if you are a science teacher, uh, every science teacher is giving the practical to their students in the practical labs. But what about the virtual practicals? So many teachers saying that how we can uh, we can give the lectures to the students uh, online platform, but how we can give the practicals to the students? This is a major area of concern. But there is a solution. Uh, These virtual labs. Just go to the virtual labs created by MHRD. They are practical with the three D dimensions of graphics level. They have created the videos. They have created the animation of virtual labs or oh, any practical. If you are searching some some chemistry pro problem or chemistry practical, just visit there. They are a subject type uh, subject. Their their interface is oriented with the subject. Just go to our search for any subject and take the practical. You can get that practical here. So. Virtual labs is very much useful for science students for their laboratory uh, laboratory work. Uh, they are also publicized the laboratory manuals here. How to do or how what laboratory uh, what uh, mechanism is behind all that practical all that content all that videos all that textual formats are available in virtual labs. Actually, if you are going to be or interested, just go to vlabs.iitb.eca. This is the major resource station for practicals. With one, yeah, this is the database, purely database for expertise. If you uh, if you want someone to deliver in your, in your national, international uh, webinar or uh, symposia workshop, you just search the expertise in this with one database. Actually, Infoboard, uh, now this Infoboard is merged into uh, another project, so it's so much, but there are so many information available. Research project database. Actually, as a teacher of uh, senior college teacher, we are going for major minor projects. And uh, through the UGC, ICR, ICMA, DSC, DBT, all these research projects, after completing this, all these research projects, the UGC has started the initial of database. They are storing all that projects on this website. This is the research project database where we can get the major and minor research projects create, uh, uh, created or completed by students under UGC, ICR, ICMA, BSK, and DBT. Here we can search. This is tool for our duplication in research work.
or extended work of any field of research field. So just within the research project database, you can get the major and minor. Okay, in the field. Now this is limited only the universities. Actually, they have started the in field access management federation. This is the access management federation. We are just as a college teacher, we are not facing this, but in future, it's not over, it's only the uh, limited to the universities and our Shivaji University also started in fit project for their uh, uh, teachers uh, but in future as a uh, for the colleges we have also go for the in fit maybe next phase the colleges are going to face this in fit this is the here we can get the resources e, e journals that may be subscribed journals, databases, online to uh, online material through this infill. So wait for this. Maybe uh, next year, this is new for us. Though this, uh, the, uh, some of the uh, initiative taken by the uh, MHRD, that is the NPTL, virtual labs, talk to teachers. This is becoming old. There is a spoken tutorial. If you want to learn any technology, any technological course go to the spoken tutorial this is created by iit mumbai here uh, you can get the uh, modules of various software it may be uh, uh, software from chemistry mathematics library science maybe languages maybe typing or operating system all that application you can learn from this spoken tutorial there are numerous or thousands of videos on particular courses this is the one type of course as a college as a college to a department or teacher you can conduct a spoken tutorial course for your student too it's a free of cost just communicate with the spoken tutorial administrator they can uh, uh, create the uh, course for you uh, you can enroll these students to uh, that course and uh, give them certificate actually this is the easiest way to conduct an online workshop or online webinar uh, training program. This is a, say, for training program or for this is for training or workshop. About the CSC, CSC purely uh, uh, for the engineering colleges. Then Eandra is also associated with the engineering colleges. I'm not going so further or deep in that for the eagle. I'm just okay. I'm just Coming with technological aspect. If you are interested in technology updates, just know how to visit or browse the TechCrunch, Mashable, Gizmodo, Engadget, Readable, and Digit. These are the core information resources or sources of information for technological aspect. This will be technological updates. What is going on in the technological field? These tools or these resources are providing information, vital information. Uh, there is a uh, minute by information to us about the technology. So, if you are uh, tech gazi or tech, tech CV people, just visit these resources. Actually, the one of the biggest data repository in India is the data.joe.in. All the ministries, all the departments, they are depositing their information, their reports. The statistical data to this data.joe.it. If if you are a social science researcher and uh, searching for a criminal report of Maharashtra, you can get that all that statistical report of that particular aspect from the government. Here they are going to store the information in data.joe.in. This is the data repository. Actually, Pune University, uh, Pune Mahanagar Palika in India, this is the major data repository. Uh, here, just you see 3 lakh 45 resources and catalogs, department, 164 departments are embedded here. So, this is the core and reliable information source for teachers. For a, maybe research, maybe in, uh, teaching, learning. You, this is a reliable information source. Now, we are going to online learning. This is the era of online learning and without uh, nowadays we are as a teacher we are talking about we are talking uh, uh, we have con conversations on the online learning how to take what are the uh, uh, cutters uh, what are the difficulties 
what are the possibilities in the online learning it may it may not it going it may go not so we are thinking about the online learning and in this online learning, learning as a teacher we how to facing this swayam as a big platform this is the india's big platform of online courses we can learn here and we can provide the information over to students too as a teacher we can learn certificates diploma uh, so many courses here if you just browse the online if, as a teacher as a senior college teacher we are just going for refresher courses or short term courses but behind that there are so many courses in your subject domain which will update you in your as a subject expertise so go for this same courses there are one month two month three month courses maybe the learning is free of cost if you want a certificate you have to pay something so just yeah, go go the enroll here and learn something and you can promote or you can uh, encourage your students to learn the newer courses behind their syllabus you student can also learn so many things in uh, swayam there are so many course student oriented courses also run by the swayam so as a teacher we how to encourage we how to publicize the swayam courses in our among the students for their better knowledgeable and better enrichment in their teaching learning process okay there are so many courses just go to swayam and just search maybe now uh, just uh, the next week is started today maybe uh, yesterday they started new courses also just visit nptl yeah is similar like to swayam here also so many courses video lectures available here you just go the nptl uh, just like the swayam you can go for the online courses if you are going to professional online courses then you go for edx or i am i am bx these are the major platform for advanced courses huh? here simply learn is also purely certified uh, certification courses for professional subjects we for uh, going depth knowledge of any course or any advanced knowledge just do this simply learn when i am starting my online learning i am just enroll this simply learn this is a paid we have to pay something here and if uh, if you are if students your teacher you for uh, maybe any person is interested in agriculture education online agriculture education then this site will be helpful they can do bsc agriculture bsc agriculture veterinary fishing dry track dairy technology home science all that agriculture courses we can do online this e krishi e krishi krishi shiksha is a initiative taken by the all the agriculture universities and government of india for online e courses on the agriculture field so if you are interested on uh, online courses or online degrees on agriculture field just go for the e krishi shiksha website here all the degree and certificate diploma courses and all that courses are run by icar Uh, Indian Agriculture uh, that uh, research uh, agriculture research institution is running all the career courses. They are promoting this initiative. Okay, and there are some nowadays. Just I am uh, showing you this IIT Mumbai's um, Moodle course. But nowadays, so many universities and colleges are taking the initiative of Moodle courses, online courses. Just my college, Bhavadi Mahavidyalaya, started the Moodle course from uh, last four years back. and last 3 years back the uh, kamla college has started the online courses before this pandemic of corona uh, this co uh, before the covid they have started the online courses because this is a need of time as a college administrator as a college principal as a college teacher we have to start the online courses uh, this may be only there is uh, uh, only edx and moodle will be help you Google Classroom is not capable for online courses throughout the because it not be uh, uh, included all the teachers. It's only for one teacher or two teachers, or it has a storage problem. But if you are implementing LMSs through the Moodle, then you have to just go to the uh, ekamla dot in or uh, moodle dot bhogavdi college dot com. You can get how it work all the subject 
or semester wise or uh, maybe i'm showing can i show that site yes, sir. hello yes, yeah sir, yes yeah i'm just showing the one site here to all of you this is the site of kamala college Hello, sir. Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Ah, sir, bola. Sir, continue. Continue, sir. Okay. Sir, how are you doing, sir? Okay. This is the E Kamla. Actually, I am discussing the technology. This is the learning management tool. If you are seeing this. This initiative taken by the Kamla College, Kolapur, and just started the online courses three years back. Here, this is the course category: BSc Arts, BCom, and BSc BO. Right? If you are just going to the BSc Bachelor of Arts, here you can get the all the semester ones. If I click, this is the semester one, two, three, four, five, six. You can click the semester one. You can get the all the subjects here. If I pick any subject, I get the this is the uh, content on that website. Such a way, you can go for the. Now, what can you do? Hello. हेलो महादेव देशमुख सर बहुतेक आवाज देते प्लीज आवाज बंद ओके सच्चे वे अशा प्रकार अपन मुझे क्लासेस बनवू शको कॉलेज कोलहापुर इनिशिटिव है ऑनलाइन कोर्सेस सुरू के दोन तीन वर्षा पूर्वी हेमेंट सीमिस्टर वाइज अपन सग अंतर्भाव इतना करता शको सीमिस्टर वाइज के लिए सीमिस्टर वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स एखाद सीमिस्टर क्लिक के सगे विषय सीमिस्टर मध्य शिकवले जता अपने दिस्त विद्यार्थी पहू शकत ज्यादा विद्यार्थ्या एखाद विषय कंटेन्ट बे तो, तो कंटेन्ट इतना बढ़ू शकता एक्चुअली नहीं जो नहीं पासवर्ड बढ़ता नहीं पे अशा प्रकार की इनिशिटिव भरपूर बहुत बहुत कॉलेज ने घेले है मैं तुम्हारा आता ही कमरा दाखिल तुम्हारा मुडल मुडल दाखो तो भगवती महाविद्यालय जो आम महाविद्यालय के लिए बगू शकता ई भगवती ई लर्निंग पोर्टल इतना तुम्हारा बी एस सी बी कॉम आ बी ए चे कंटेन्ट तुम्हें इतना बगू शकता जो तुम्हें इतना बी बी एस सी ला तो बी एस सी या एक दुसर आता मैं बी एस सी सीमिस्ट वन क्लिक करते समझा इतना मी हा बी कॉम चाहिए मैं तुम्हारा बी एस सी दाखो अशा प्रकार अपन कंटेन्ट बो शो जुनिअर कॉलेज जुनिअर करता शो अशा प्रकार बहुत देर आर सो मेनी कॉलेज आर टेकिंग इनिशिटिव ऑफ सच क्रिएटिंग मोडल्स एल एम एस लर्निंग मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम जस्ट आई एम गोइंग टू बैक टू मै एम वेट अ मिनिट माझी पीपीडी दिसते का ओके ऑल दी सी एस आर सेंट्रल लैब्स रिपोजिटरी इज हार हि If you are a social science student of social science teacher, you can get the all the CSR information 
their output, their research publication, their seminar, conference papers, all that journals, all that content published by the CSR, you can get that, all the information in one place. That is the CSR Central. So you go here, this is the digital library of CSR Central. Here you can, all this is open archive system. Okay, uh, this I'm going fastly because I'm focusing on the main subject. This is Swayam Prabha. She is a new initial taken by the MHRD. They have started the online DPS channels for education. Just uh, at the college, you can just uh, purchase a DTH box or DTH uh, that uh, set up box and install in your, uh, any classroom or any uh, block or any room in the college and start the Swayam Prabha. Actually, they, are, they have the day-to-day day-to-day -day program list for PA, BCom and BSc, engineering, all that aspect. There are 32 channels are here and we can start this initiative in the college in the uh, in next uh, few days or next in next maybe next uh, next few months we are starting this initiative in our college. So this is the very useful resources for starting a new or innovative ideas in the teaching learning in our College to just start the Swayam Prabha, it just costs only a TV, LCD TV, and a DTH. Maybe it's 15 or 70,000 costing, but you can start the online learning for students. Students can uh, listen their audio uh, educational program on the DTH channels. Okay, it's the, there are nowadays 32 DTH channels available. This is a high quality educational program. And it's all, uh, actually such type of current upcoming and archive programs uh, schedule is displayed on the website. So we can student or you can listen all that content, all that video, educational video lectures on the DTS channel. Nowadays, this is the era of application, mobile app. So there are so many tools. With that help of the tools, you can create your own mobile app without any programming knowledge uh, uh, if you are teacher and you are going to want to create an application android app for your students of your course then just go to the app creator 25 this is the uh, online facility there is another facility app dot eight these are two are the simplest app, uh, android application tools to create a mobile application so just, these are these are, the, these are very easy and handy for teachers uh, if you want to go for depth go for more uh, comfortable with the mobile application just learn the mit app inventor this is the one of the best tool for creating mobile apps uh, and uh, here you know i think the, for the programming uh, programming language you don't need to know actually uh, any 10th or 12th class uh, uh, student can learn how to develop the mobile app through this MIT app inventor. There are so many videos available on this, so you can just see the videos and learn how to create the mobile app. So this is a very useful thing. Okay, these are the five minutes stuff. In five minutes, you can do the. If you are uh, learning any computer course, just go to wcschools.com. Here you can get the all the programming languages by scheduling by the by the, uh, throughout the tutorial they are uh, designed the courses don't go anywhere there no need of any classes of any private classes to learn any language of computer language just go to this website wbschools.com this is the most usable website in the computer uh, computer developers well, most of the computer developers are using this website to learn or taking the code of the programs so this is the best website for computer science students nowadays back to the ebooks just we see the google books there is the internet archive ebooks all the content are archived in the internet archive all the historical books if you are searching this internet archive there are thousands of books on the indian history written by the foreign authors are here available free of cost this is the core 
source of textbooks audio and video lectures uh, if you if you are any type uh, uh, um, uh, if you are a teacher for any domain of subject you can get the rare information in internet archive if you are an english teacher if you are a uh, science teacher just go to project gutenberg there are 49 million books are available on the in the english literature science and technology and all those books are reference books on your subject is some, some books are not found in the library but you can get the books on project gutenberg and internet archive so these are the best resources of e books available on the internet huh? i think so many uh, e free e book uh, suppliers also taking help of this internet archive and project gutenberg so if you want to search any e book just go to project gutenberg and internet archive okay there are also uh, library genesis and lab uh, bookbook.com now coming back to the e journals and projects if you are uh, searching for free of cost or open access journals just there is a facility directory of open access journal doors there 9000 maybe it's maybe 10000 uh, plus journals are there from one uh, more than 120 countries just go there and uh, browse your subject you can get the journals open access journals for your subject domains here also open door in the uh, all the open access repositories or digital libraries are listed here for your subject domain this uh, this may be the research initiative that are in the world they are coming under one platform open door this is open door org here we can get the list of all the digital libraries freely available for the users so just this doors and open door are supported for the open access system then they are uh, just is a snapshot of doors this go the this is the website doors.org directory of open access journals here this uh, this is the user interface i just search it this is this is a search browse subject here so many subjects are there okay this i am going open door also uh, repository of digital repository through all the world you can search here your content in open door through all the world the in the digital libraries of the world okay if you are uh, accessing any database just go the load app open access databases this is the uh, databases initiative just you are going to scholar resources go to the road this is one of uh, one more initiative uh, 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 global open access platform also get the uh, online access information throughout the globe and this is the one of the most useful if you are going to free of cost books in your subject domain just go to the directory of open access books go gov.org here you can get the academic peer reviewed books uh, from more than 200 publishers just if this is a useful for our with teachers this i'm going this open gate here you can get the information about the books journals and databases this is also free of cost browsing this open gate not gate here you can get the more than 7000 open access journals for our research purpose okay thesis i'm just uh, uh, this is social science open access repository if you are a social science teacher just go to sosa so you can get the social science content on this website now then coming to back the opac if you, if your college library has the library software they are implementing the opac too every college library has the opac from your home you can access the book catalog of that particular library from your laptop or desktop to this opac you our shivaji university pune university solapur university has the opac from your laptop you can search browse the library catalog you can search the whatever the book you want so this is opac facility provided by every library you you need not to go to their particular library to search a particular book you can just go to the opac online and just browse uh, just go to the uh, opac uh, searching facility and just search the books author wise publisher wise maybe title wise you can get the available list of books in particular library so this opac is the initiative taken by the library softwares 
Actually, if you are uh, if you are searching any books, book description for your research purpose, you can go to the Library of Congress online catalog. There are also OCLC or uh, uh, World uh, World Cat here. All the books from the world are listed. If you are interested to the uh, books, then you just visit the World Cat. Uh, if you are interested in the, if you are a science teacher and if you are interested in the patent information, just go to USPTO. This is the patent information office. Here, all the patent information is available. Okay, I'm just going fastly because I'm taking too much time here. I'm showing you the here NISCARE. This is Indian uh, initiative of online journals. If you are interested in online journals publishing and retrieving the online uh, Indian journals, just go to the NIS NISCARE online periodicals. Here you can get the your NISCARE periodicals online. This is a free of cost. Nowadays, dictionaries and encyclopedias are also available online. This is Marathi Vishwakosh. Nowadays, need, uh, we, you did not uh, need to go to the library to search the Marathi Vishwakosh. The, uh, all the values of Marathi Vishwakosh are available online. Just go to Marathi Vishwakosh.in or .zoe.in and browse your content. All that values of Marathi Vishwakosh books are digitized in the E content format for us. So, if you are teacher, you are student, just go to the Marathi Vishwakos. Okay, Wikipedia. Yeah, this is the most favorite thing for us. And whenever we are searching information, we just go to the Wikipedia. Just copy and paste the things from here. But for teachers, we are the most useful thing is, uh, um, more, I think the CLs on references section is the most beautiful section of Wikipedia. If you want to further reading or you want to reference sources of information, just go to the CL zone references. Here you can get the core information or primary information source of that searching information. Newspaper, we all know that uh, in the fingertips of the mobile, we get the newspapers nowadays. Now I'm uh, telling about something new. This is Magazine Gold. Here, more than 5,000 magazines are available online for teachers you just you have to subscribe that the subscription price is 1500 for one one year and all your teachers will can read the online magazines my college is taking subscription of this magazine from last five years and my all the teachers are uh, reading online magazines from their mobiles we are giving as a library we are giving them username and password and they're taking their username and password and through the mobile app, they are using the magazines. There are so many magazines, maybe uh, from uh, education, technology, geography, science, competitive exams. There are so many categories, and more than 5,000 magazines are available. Then, another thing, if you are a book reader, a book lover, then go for the Kindle Unlimited. Maybe uh, 200 or 300, 350 rupees subscription per month for this Kindle Unlimited. But, you can get the books instantly after the publications. One, more than 1 million titles are available. Nowadays, Marathi books are also available. If you are going for Akshar, Akshar Dhara, if you are going to uh, Mehta books, they are also on, on the Kindle Unlimited. So in just 250, uh, if you are uh, interested in uh, reading books, just go to the Kindle Unlimited. Actually, if you are uh, interested in audio books, this go the Amazon initiative available. Actually, you can get this 200 to 250 rupees. You can get the audible books. Here, audio books are available. If you are going to free of cost audio books, go then visit to LibriOx. LibriOx. This is a free public domain for audio books. If you are an English teacher and you are you are searching for audio of any Shakespeare novel or tragedy or comedy, just go to LibriOx. They are provided all the audio books of sex years. So you can get the information. This is very useful for the audio books for English subject. Actually, there are also digital audio books. There are so many storytelling. Impactful thing. 
you if your our students are using social media then as a teacher we have to adapt this technology thank you uh, i think there are so many things we have here and uh, the there is a lacuna of time and uh, we cannot go further because there are so many resources we have and this is uh, never be stoppable there is, uh, there are so many tools every day they are uh, introducing and as a teacher we have in a learning mode now because this e learning technology we are going and we need the information we need we, uh, we need the tools and techniques for uh, developing content to this uh, delivering the uh, effectively so this all all these online resources are very useful if uh, and all these contents are uh, much more giving aware to creating the content to us i think my lecture and uh, i'm uh, not i'm briefly but i'm shortly introduce all these resources there are so many resources in various categories but we all the teachers must aware with the this uh, upcoming technologies upcoming resources and available resources on the internet to use uh, uh, to use this in the teaching learn i think i'm stopping here any questions i'm here to answer kai prashna asti tar vicharu shakta mi aapli uttar deu shakto thank you sir hello sir ha ah. thank you sir very much for if you have any questions if you have any queries you can unmute your audio and ask questions to the respective guest only three four questions will be taken into consideration yes participants please any question yes sir yes sir hello hello Uh, first of all, congratulations! You delivered a very fruitful and informative lecture. I have some uh, query regarding the Swayam courses. There are different types of Swayam courses are going on, but I want to know what is the future of Swayam courses in the respect of students and teachers. Marathi, that is the reason why Marathi came. Because that is the reason why Marathi came. स्वयंसे डिग्री वैलिड होना नहीं है सर तुम्हें तो एमआईटी ऐप इन्वेंटर संगित एमआईटी ऐप इन्वेंटर कैसे डाउनलोड कराए कुछ डाउनलोड है तो फ्री है का हेलो एक्चुअली एमआईटी ऐप इन्वेंटर डाउनलोड करने की जरूरत नहीं है अच्छा ऑनलाइन ऑनलाइन है बोलो सॉफ्टवेयर उपलब्ध है तो बोलो कुछ भी प्रकार के ऐप डाउनलोड करने की जरूरत नहीं है अच्छा ऑनलाइन अकाउंट कर सकते हैं सर प्लीज चैट बॉक्स मध्य तुम्हारा नंबर टाका कॉन्टैक्ट नंबर कि ईमेल प्लीज रिक्वेस्ट मजे ठीक है ठीक हेलो ओके थैंक यू सो मच प्रश्न है Uh, the MIT app development is for the application development. Development. Uh, we cannot need to download the application on your computer. It is an online facility. Yes. Just go to the MIT app development website. Just create your account and just start your app development. There is no need of download in application. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, next. Thank you. How are you? 
हा बोलू शकत ना हॅलो सुरेश पाटील सर काय क्वेश्चन आहे का खूप कमी वेळामध्ये खूप काही सांगणं खूप कधी पण अवघड असत आणि मी हा प्रयत्न केलेला आहे आणि मला वाटते हा वेबिनारचा मे बी हा एक प्रयत्न असावा की आपल्याला अवेअरनेस प्रोग्राम सुद्धा बघता येतील की जोशीच्या संदर्भात त्यापैकी हा प्रोग्राम म्हणता येईल आणि मी खूप आभारी आहे म्हणजे सिंग यादव कॉलेज पेडे वडगावचा त्यांच्या प्राचार्य त्यांच्या संस्थेत आहे त्यांनी त्यांनी खास करून माझे लायब्ररीयन प्रोफेशनल चव्हाण सर यांचा मी खूप आभारी आहे की मला त्यांनी संधी दिली आणि आपल्या सर्व शिक्षकांशी संवाद साधण्याचा एक प्रयत्न त्यांनी मला प्रयत्न करण्याचा प्रयत्न संधी दिली त्यामुळे मी खूप आभारी आहे सर भविष्या काळात मी नक्कीच तुम्हाला काही मदत लागल्यास लायब्ररी देऊ शकतो ऍक्च्युली पूर्ण एक वेगळ्या प्लॅटफॉर्मवर आहोत आता म्हणजे एक नवीन चेंज आपण अनुभवत आहोत त्याच्या अगोदर आपण पर्सन ऑफिस डिजिटल प्लॅटफॉर्मवर आहोत भविष्यामध्ये प्रत्येक शिक्षकालाही अप्लिकेबल आहे आणि जर काही खरोखरच काही टेक्नॉलॉजिकल मदत लागली तरी मी नक्कीच आम्हाला सर्वांना मदत करेन ही माझी आशा मी थांबते थँक्यू तुम्ही सर्वांचे आभारी आहे वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू यू ऑल रिस्पेक्टेड रिसोर्स पर्सन प्रशांत कल्लोळी सर आवर लायब्ररीयन सर रघुनाथ चव्हाण द कम्प्लीट टीम हु इज हँडलिंग दिस सेशन ऑफ वेबिनार ऑल द फेलो कलिग्स ऑफ माय कॉलेज द लायब्ररीयन फ्रॉम अदर कॉलेजेस स्टुडंट्स अँड ऑल द पार्टिसिपंट्स फ्रॉम व्हेरियस कॉर्नर्स ऑफ इंडिया Uh, let me first congratulate all our team who has organized this national webinar on access of online resources in teaching and learning and let me congratulate again the resource person prashant kalloli sir who has delivered a very nice talk regarding the access to online resources so this is the time of uh, explosion of knowledge an explosion of the information sir has very excellently said that how human have been evolved uh, means uh, from the homo sapien to now this modern day man and sir has linked this evolution of information with the uh, evolution of human being that was a very nice uh, example given by sir and in the earlier days the information was restricted to books it was restricted to print media only but nowadays there is explosion of the information explosion of the knowledge in every field in entertainment in medicine in uh, uh, conventional uh, disciplines like uh, science geography mathematics and even it is uh, enhanced in arts culture and a number of fields which are available for the enhancement of the human being no doubt but when there are many resources we are a little confused which resource should i choose and uh, which path should i choose so that i can get my knowledge enhanced in my restricted area or in my specialized area and that is too difficult nowadays as number of resources are quite available and once we are surfing a site or once we are going to a particular resource media then we find something different which attracts you then you go there and again you are um, 
exploring that information which is not even useful for your enhancement or for your subject and uh, then uh, it is just like the puzzle and you are entering in that uh, field and you are uh, coming out of uh, that field with getting nothing means you have not enriched your knowledge you have just surfed at different sides and you have got nothing so if this is happening with the wise persons like teachers then what will happen with the students who are not wise enough who are not experienced enough and who are not exposed enough to these different sides so sir has excellently uh, delivered the different sides or the different resources then it may be soyam it may be nptel it may be some open online access or paid online access uh, e books are there apps are there and n number of things are there no doubt but from where should we start and how can we go from a step wise from the lower level or lower step to the higher step sir has given this information in a very nice way this can be used for these platforms can be used to form learning as well as teaching and uh, how can we get perfect uh learning or how can we get the perfect knowledge perfect information for a particular thing that is up to you means uh, if you want to uh, get uh, some information regarding your research regarding your extra uh, uh, grooming of your personality for example if i want to know something about the corporate uh, english speaking then where should i go exactly what kind of courses are available in the corporate english speaking that i have to see and then i have to focus my attention only on these uh, open resources and then i can get enhanced my knowledge related with the spoken english or related with the corporate etiquette corporate uh, english speaking and all so sir has given very nice information finally it is up to you see i will give a example of honey bee honey bee visits thousand flowers in a day but she is not sitting on the flower not uh, more than 2 minutes only and within this 2 minutes she is picking up the nectar from the flowers and collected nectar it is then converted into a very sweet very royal product which is called as honey we all know it is like that only we have to search different engines we have to search different uh, sites we have to search the different videos different books and number of things and then we have to pick up whatever we want only so that we can enrich our teaching and learning by addition of the videos by uh, doing chunking of our videos by uh, addition of the 3d's uh, and addition of some animations etc so we can do number of things uh, for enhancement of our lecture for enhancement of our videos and for enhancement of our presentations even as sir has rightly suggested that this can be used for enhancement of ourselves or our own enhancement and if we are enhanced or if we are more knowledgeable then students will get more knowledge of course so all these media can be used for the uh, teaching process and learning process no doubt i am extremely happy today that sir has delivered a very nice talk regarding this e learning resources for both learning and teaching and i extend my sincere thanks on behalf of my institute and on behalf of my uh, parent institute to prashant kalloli sir and all the organizing team raghunath chavan sir and the participants for giving their ta valuable time and participating in this webinar thank you once again have a nice day thank you thank you madam thank you very much finally i request my best friend 
Assistant Professor in Chemistry, Dr. C. V. Manesar, to propose vote of thanks. C. V. Manesar, please. Good morning, all of you. Today, Department of Library, Sri Vijay Singh Yadav College, Pet Wadgaon, organized the national webinar on access of e-resources in teaching learning through online mode. It's my immense pleasure to express vote of thanks to respected resource person Prashant Kalluri sir, who delivered such a nice and informative lecture. He well explained about how teachers use the online resources in teaching learning process, as well as about information searching and Google search operators and commands. Sir well explained about uh, different types of web resources, national digital library, as well as virtual lab. Sir also explained e-resources or e-courses and online courses on e-learning portal. Sir also explained Swayam Prabha DTS channel, as well as MIT app, Google Books, Internet Archives, e-book text, text, OPAC online public access, catalog, as well as USPTO, NISCR, the, as well as uh, Marathi Vishwakosh and Wikipedia. I am hardly thankful to Dr. Prashant Kalloi sir for his very nice presentation. Thank you sir, thank you very much. It's my great pleasure to thank our honorable patrons, Honorable Sri Gulabrav Kohl Sahib, Ex-Commissioner of Police Pune, and President of our Sansta, Sri Shahu Shikshan Prasarak Seva Mandar, Petwadgar. As well as Honorable Vijay Devi Yadav, Ayi Sahib, Vice President of Sri Shahu Shikshan Prasarak Seva Mandar, and Honorable Vidya Taipol, Secretary of our Sansta, for their constant support and inspiration to organize such activities. I feel very happy to thank our respected principal, Dr. Vijay Savan, Madam, for permitting us to organize this webinar and also motivation, support and guidance timely. Thank you, Madam. Thank you very much. I am also thankful to our Savan librarian of Sri Vijay Singh Yadav College, D.B. Patil Sir, Dinesh Bhandari Sir and Karande Sir for organizing such a nice webinar. Last but not least, I must say thanks to all participants, faculty members, teaching and non-teaching staffs and students for joining this webinar and shows affinity towards our institute. Hereby, with prior permission of President, I declare that the webinar is over.